Hello guys, welcome back to my GED Notes study. I hope everybody's okay today. Sunday, have a happy Sunday. Today I would like to share to you about GED science. We have a, a small study lesson and a practice test for being faster to get the answers. So let's get started. Here's the lesson. In general, Adults can breathe in and out between 12 to 20 minutes, 12 to 20 times per minute. People breathe faster when standing up than those sitting down. As the adults get older, they breathe more slowly. Children breathe twice faster than adults. Women breathe faster than men. Hmm? Question number one. Which one of the following would most likely breathe the fastest? Is it A, a 10-year-old girl standing up, B, a 15-year-old boy sitting down, C, a 15-year-old girl sitting down, or D, a 50-year-old man standing up? Number two questions. Which of the following would most likely read the slowest? Is it A, a 10-year-old girl standing up, a B, a 12-year-old boy sitting down, C, a 15-year-old girl standing up, or D, a 50-year-old man sitting down? So here's the number three questions. Listen, absorption is a process by which substances stick in matter. During absorption, the matter becomes dispersed throughout the absorbing material. So the question is, which is an example of absorption? Is it E, water freezing, B, a candle burning, C, margarine melting in a frying pan, or D, water held in a sponge? And the number four is about Jean helped the teachers with record keeping, such as tracking attendance and calculating grades, helps prepare for lessons, and helps supervise students in class, between classes, during lunches, services, and on field trips. Number four question What is Jane's profession? Is it a housekeeper, B, medical technician, C, admission clerk, or D, education aide? The number five question is about environmental scientists use their knowledge of natural sciences to protect the environment. They have the knowledge of the natural sciences to protect the environment and human health. They clean up polluted areas, advise policymakers, or work with the industry to reduce waste. Question number five. What activity qualified as an environmental scientist? Is it E, advising on diet planning, B, prescribing medication, C, analyzing air pollution data, or D, running an audiovisual equipment? The question six and number seven is uh, based on this table here about the nutrients and possible sources of nutrients. The vitamin D, Vitamin B is from whole grains, meat, fish, nuts, bananas. The vitamin C is from orange fruit, tomatoes, bell peppers, sweet and white potatoes. Carbohydrates from rice, bread, vegetables. Proteins from meat, fish, eggs, beans, cabbages. And vitamin A is from carrots, broccoli, spinach, milk, green leafy vegetables. So here's the question number six. Leah's Leah's lunch consists of tuna fish sandwich on whole wheat bread with litres, a glass of milk, and a carrot sticks. So the question number six is, according to the food table above, which nutrients is missing? So we look at it, the table again. Which nutrients is missing? So is it E, protein, B, carbohydrates, C, vitamin A, or D, vitamin C? Question number seven, still based on the table above. In order to get protein, what group of food do we need to include in our diet? Is it, we'll look at the table again, a little bit. And then is it E, rice, bread, vegetables, B, orange fruit, bell peppers, tomatoes, C, meat, fish, eggs, or D, carrots, broccoli, spinach. 
So let's go to the number eight questions. There's um, information. The physical and chemical properties of a substance are affected by many factors, such as the molecular makeup of a substance that, and its temperature. The thicker a liquid is, the more slowly an object should fall through it. Number eight questions. In which of the following situations would a marble be most likely to fall at the fastest rate when dropped into a syrup in a glass bottle? Is it A, syrup warm for 20 minutes, B, syrup kept at room temperature, C, syrup stored in a refrigerator for an hour, or D, syrup stored in a blender for 10 minutes at room temperature? Here's the number nine. Based on this information, when water evaporates from a surface, the surface is cold. Based on this information, number nine question is, which of the following would most keep the human body at a constant temperature? Is it A, perspiring more when the body becomes overheated? B, breathing rapidly in hot days, on hot days? C, shivering when the outside temperature is very cold. D. Drinking juices rather than water when exercising. This is the last one in permission. During an electrical storm, a lightning splash is seen before the sound of a thunder that it generated can be heard. The farther a person is from the storm, the greater the time interval between the light flash and the arrival of a sound. The number 10 question, which of the following statements best explains this phenomenon? Is it A, the, dentist, the density of atmosphere decreases in the speed of light? B, sounds travel somewhat faster than light? C, electricity can travel rapidly in the Earth's atmosphere? Or D, light travels faster than sound? So that was the 10 question guys and some lessons. So let's go to the answer i'll give you the answers but hopefully you wrote, you write down your answers before you look at this uh, answers that i uh, give you and here we go Here are the answers. The answer number one is A, a 10-year-old girl standing up. Number two, D, a 50-year-old man sitting down. Ah, where's the down? Number three, D, water held in a sponge. Number four, D, education aid. Number five, C, analyzing air pollution data. Number six, D, vitamin C. Number seven, C, meat, fish, egg. Number eight, A, syrup warm for 20 minutes. Number nine, A, first, first firing. Oh, I read it wrong in the question. A first, first firing more when the body becomes overheated. And number 10, last one is the D, light travels faster than sound. So that's all the answer guys and and thank you so much guys for watching consider subscribing like share and comments below if you can or you can suggest what video do you like me to upload next and it, that will give me uh, idea or I'll just keep making this GED listen and practice this because I have a lot of followers on this and my cooking videos. But I still uh, sometimes share to you about travels and animals and other stuff that I would like to. So have a happy Sunday, guys. I will see you in my next video. You have a wonderful day. Take care and bye.